calor o a trabajar. Martha, hello, good evening. Hi, teacher, good evening. How are you? I'm good, and you? Happy, you are the first one in the class. Oh, teacher, what about you, Flu? Ah, still bad, but who cares? <laughs> you feel better? Not that much, but you know, what can we do? Yeah, no. <laughs> we have to stand it up and let's hope for the better for tomorrow. Yes, I I hope you feel better tomorrow. Yeah, let's hope so. So tell me how sorry, how was your day? My day was a uh, very busy teacher. Many, many cases today, but um, everything was okay. I, I feel a little tired. What is it exactly that you do? I provide support the people uh, in all company about the system. Oh, so your area is computers? Yes, yes. Oh, really? But it's, it's more administration, it's configuration, it's, it's not technical. process, not technical, no. It's oh, okay. more um, project manager, I management. Uh, management, I review uh, some new fun functionality in, in the system. Uh, you know, it's, it's more administration. Oh, really? That's interesting. How long yeah. have, you ha have you been working in that area? In, in my company about since um, 2017. Oh my gosh, you are really experienced in that area. Yeah, in, in this company, but in in other companies, I uh, is is the same um, functionality too. It's so about your, the consulting. Area, so your area is management, right? Yes, yes, is is management. An administration too, because in uh, RP in my company is 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 my responsibility uh, the administration. Okay, so you got a big responsibility actually. Yes, right? yes, <laughs> yes, teacher. But it's okay. It's okay for me. Yeah. Uh, someday, someday is more hard, but some days are harder. Some days are harder, but in general, it's it's good, man. I like my job. job. I imagine, I imagine. It. Well, that's cool. That's cool. I mean, 
we need actually to like our job in order to to last long on it otherwise i mean we get like desperate yeah. or frustrated yeah <laughs> yes every day is different yeah i imagine well every day is a new day actually yes right? yes yes i know yeah and or, when or... you have when you have to deal with people is it's different every day. You have something new to do, something new goals, right? Yeah, yeah. Every day is is different. Uh, is uh, different things, different people. Uh, it's not the same every day. Yeah, I know. I know what you mean. It's like in my case, I mean, I deal with people every day and even though it appears to be the same, every day is a whole different story, right? Yeah. It's correct, teacher. Yeah, it's like this, let me see. Oh my gosh, I'm still fighting with some people who has not finished the, the midterm. That's a problem for me. So you finished the midterm, Marta? Yes, teacher, yesterday. Let me see, let me see, it says here. Marta, Marta, let's see. Oh yeah, you did, oh my gosh, you got a hundred in everything. Wow, Marta, you're doing good in the platform. Yes, teacher, I try. <laughs> you try. <laughs> well, no, if you don't try it, you do it. Yeah, I try to uh, finish every day after the class. Well, that's good. That's, I mean, getting a good grade is, is self-satisfaction, right? Yeah. I mean, it makes you feel better when you know you are doing good. Right? It's, yeah, it's practice every day. It's easy, easy key. Yeah, actually it is. And tell me, how was your day, Marta? Very busy, teacher. Very busy. Oh, really? What but, did you do today? Uh, you know, same story. Uh, many cases, uh, platform. Uh, some call, um, uh, some review the new process in my company. But review or follow up? A follow up. Yes, follow up. Is uh, follow up the new project, um, review the new tasks about the project, um, but it's okay. Everything was fine. Okay, well, that's cool. I mean, when you feel that your day has been like, like good, like calm, it's okay because you know that you have done your best. Yeah, it's, it's a little tighter for me, but it, it's okay. I, I, I feel... Uh, Good for for the class teacher. Okay, well that's fine. That's fine. I mean, it's important to be prepared to the class, and I know that not every day is an easy day, right? Yeah. Because sometimes you have like hard days at work. Yes, the time is the problem, but we try. Yeah. I understand you completely. Some days are like quite hard that you feel like, oh my gosh, this day, yes. when it will end? <laughs> like you are waiting for the day to finish and it never does, right? Yeah. I understand. It's you. Well, correct. <laughs> Marta, welcome to the class. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you, teacher. 
Good evening. Lucero, hello, how are you? Hi, I'm very good and couldn't be better. And you? I am just fine. Lucero, you disconnected early yesterday. What happened? <laughs> Tell me. Yes, I am I'm sorry because uh, the last night I had issues and, and I have to sort out. So, but that means that today you're ready to be in the whole class, right, Lucero? Yes. Excellent, excellent. That's good, Lucero. Because, let me see, Lucero. And let's see, today is the 21st. Okay, Lucero, please remember that tonight I will need you to stay after the class. It's your day for the 10 minutes after the class, okay? Okay. Thank you. So, how was your day, Lucero? A good day at work? Okay. Okay. Today was amazing and cold because my bosses were in an office and, mm. and, the cat, and the cats were in the mice do a party. Yeah, when I know. I, I know what you mean. So, you <laughs> had a relaxing day. Yes. When I came back to, to my home, my bicycle tire got flat. Luckily, a man came with me and gave me a ride. Otherwise, all very good. Oh, so you ride a bicycle? Yes. Oh. Is it far? Do you have to ride pretty and, far? And I... And I didn't, and I didn't um, check it. And when I when I left, I how do you say? No me di cuenta. I didn't, I didn't realize. notice. Oh, or I didn't, I didn't notice. I didn't notice. It's okay. Okay, I didn't notice, and and I had an inconvenient. Oh, really? Wow, that's, I mean, that's worrisome. I know that it's worrisome when you got a flat tire. Yes, and, and the roads when I, when I, when I pass is, is alone and, and it was late. And oh my gosh, you gotta be I, careful. And yes. And I and I was afraid of because my father is is very angry when when I don't see in my home. Yeah, I understand it. Well, Lucero, nice having you here. Thank you very much and welcome. Thank you, teacher. Mr. Osorio, hello, how are you? Good evening. I'm fine, teacher. How was your day? Uh, well, oh, good, teacher. Tired as as usual. But anxious, teacher. Anxious. Or anxious. Anxious that the week is almost over. And oh, in this, today in this was case, not anxious. Anxious is a little bit bad. In this case, it's ah, excited. excited. Yes, okay, excited. Teacher. I get it. And excited that the week is almost over. Okay. And today it was a very productive work day. Oh, that's nice. Glad yes, to hear teacher. that. Yes, that's teacher. nice. That's nice. I mean, I feel calm. Always... I feel calm about that. That's good. That's good. It's good when you have a, a good day. I mean, a productive day. Yes, teacher. 
Yes. Okay, excellent, excellent. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jose, and welcome. Thank you, teacher. Let's see who is this young guy. Wilfredo, hello. Hello, teacher. Wilfredo, how are you? You look younger, you shave, right? Of course, I, I reviewed many years. Yesterday, yeah, no, no. Yeah. Yeah, yes, yesterday right. you reviewed some years. You took off some I, years I, yourself. I got a good hair. I don't have any hair, did you? Yeah, yes. Well, you know, that's, that's normal. That happens with age. Yes. It is easy for the um, barber shop. Yeah. Long, a little money with me. Yeah, they make some money pretty easy with us. <laughs> yeah, the same happens. You know, I got this little part here, this little part here. So, I mean, they just got like this and it's over. <laughs> mm, that's, How are you, teacher? I'm just. What about fine. you? I mean, you know, still fighting with the flu a little bit, but man, that's normal. Okay. Actually, I am taking, you know, I'm drinking, uh, how do you call it? Aloe. Aloe vera? Yeah, that's what I'm drinking here. You because can prepare it by teacher. I'm taking antibiotics and they hurt my stomach. Ah, it is, it is nice. So the, the aloe helps me to to quench down the, the pain mostly. Yes. Because when I take antibiotics and I take anti-inflammatories like uh, ibuprofen, this thing makes my stomach hurt so much. Like terrible, terrible. For me, it's terrible to take antibiotics or anti-inflammatories. So I take aloe in order to, to level up. I have take, took Taken, taken. Yeah. Uh, but um, I remember four years ago, I I got um, a pain in my neck and rodilla, rodilla. Sorry, how do you say? Yeah. Neck. A knee pain. Yes, and they I was taking. I don't remember two weeks. But the doctor told me that it is not recommendable drinking more, more to eight, eight day. Yeah. Because it actually is, it is it is unhealthy for 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 the stomach stomach. Yeah, stomach. it's not. And, and and another organs. 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 Yes. But. No, I I continue playing, but yeah, yes, teacher. And did, yeah, no. did you prepare yeah, bar, bar yourself? Yeah, sure. I cut it, I peel it, I wash it, then I cut it in little pieces, put it in water, let the water steam up like for 24, 24 hours, then then just drink it. Yes, it is nice. Is and I, my wife sometimes prepared for for the like situation like you. And oh, really, she just got a gastritis. Is, yeah, and they they prepare enough. Sometimes give me, and always ask me if I I can to try it. But it is nice. You wanna try it? Yeah, yeah. you know, I just I can just eat it. It's okay for me. I'm used to it. I have had this problem, the gastritis problem, since I was seven. So that means 33, 34 years. 30, no, 30. Yeah, 34 years. Yeah. You start yeah. to 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 have these the symptoms? Yeah, when I was seven. Uh, um gastritis. Gastritis, how do you say it? Gastritis. 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 Or gastric problems. When, yeah. when I was finishing my my career, I remember my career. Career. 
I remember that it is hard for me because I I have to to study very very well early because I finish around two or three a.m. Then at five, uh, I'm sorry, at uh, two or or three a.m. At five a.m. I have to wake up to go to work. Then this around two years, uh, I remember. Uh, I I when I finish, uh, I have a I I. I had a, a life situation, gas, gas street. And then I remember to check that I saw in the news that it is good for this problem. Uh, mix uh, watermelon and let me see, grape and apple. Well, my friend, I have tried almost everything, believe me. I have tried potato. Oh, yeah. I have tried. I have tried pawpaw, um, plantain, almost everything. The problem is that my problem is chronic. So my treatment, I get pills. My treatment is just symptomatic. The treatment is solamente symptomatic. So I mean, I take the pills just to to calm down the symptoms. But uh, the problem is a little bit hard because I bleed a little bit. Tengo un pequeño sangramiento, so uh, it's complex. I mean, I have to, I have you to You have to a... sleep, teacher. Yeah. I am going to say an advance, uh, consejo, advice. Yeah, advice. Advice. The doctor sometimes told me you have to sleep around five or six hours and eat enough, but your stomach always have algo, something. Something. Yes. Because uh, if, but it is. It is <laughs> I, hard. I, I, I imagine, yeah, because uh, you, you all, all I, I can see that your job, I don't know, um, years before, if you, you worked, and have you go uh, around this hour? Well, uh, I work dates, I have worked night shift, I have worked <laughs> anytime. And you know, that's normal. It's just that I have to be careful with what I eat. And actually I take a, they perform a bio biopsy to me every single year. But it, it is nice we have to be... if you keep drinking this, this, yeah. this one. Yeah, but you know, the only thing that I hate is when they do the, the, the endoscopy. Man, that thing is oh, awful. I imagine. Do you know what is an endoscopy? No, I've never. It's the procedure where I'm they... Not, I, I know. Tube. Yes, yes. I know. I know. I, I, Horrible. I, I guess that is your... Ask me if I have it, but ah, I will never. Better, better, because believe me, it's horrible. Well, it's I pretty imagine. uncomfortable. I imagine, teacher. Uh, well, but you know, that's life. Okay, you are going to be a great teacher. Yeah, I know, I know. It's just a matter of being careful. Well, thank you, yes. Wilfredo. Welcome. Welcome, teacher. Ambar, hello Ambar, how are you? Hello teacher, I'm fine, what about you? Yeah, you know, alive, mm. still here. Yes, me too. <laughs> how was your to day, Ambar? Uh, um, actually, it was relaxed because I don't have a lot of calls. I didn't have a lot of calls but well the same story if uh, after the class i i did i How's did work? chores or homework yeah, yeah, chores chores is sure. perfect 
I did chores is perfect. Okay. Yes. Same. And then I I laundered my clothes and oh, okay. I prepared I did the, the laundry. Dishes. I did the laundry. I did the laundry. I did the laundry, sorry. Oh my gosh. Yes. Doing the laundry sometimes is uh, for me it's like oh no, I have to. Well, you know, you know what's the funny thing, Amber? I don't have a problem with doing the laundry. I have a problem with hanging the clothes. I hate that. I don't know why. In my case, I like the doing the laundry, but I hate wash the dishes. Oh yeah, doing the dishes for me is terrible. I hate it. I agree. I totally agree with you. Doing the How dishes. How do you say? Me is like, oh, oh yes. Oh yes, caserones. Balls. 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 Pots, ollas, pans, cacerolas. Okay, I I hate wash both. Washing, both. washing, yeah. washing me both. Too. Actually, you know, I trick when it's my turn. Cuando me toca a mí, I trick. I don't do the pots. No lavo las, <laughs> las ollas. Uh, yeah, okay. I don't like that. But I got help at home. Pero tal quien me ayude. Yes. Well, well, Amber, thank you. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Always a pleasure. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh my gosh, let me fix this. Claudia, hello, Claudia. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm well. And you? Just fine. You know, here working as usual. What about you? How was your day? Oh, uh, it was okay. I have. I had a normal day. Okay. More relaxed after the exams. When do you have next? Sorry. When do you have the next exam? You. You still, you're still missing one, right? No, it's, it's over. It was two. I don't approve the exam teacher. Oh, so sorry <laughs> to hear that. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I heard, I heard that in math, it was kind of crazy. Because yeah, I heard, I heard of, that. A lot of exercise. Yeah, and I heard that some exercises didn't have like the, the right answer. Yes. Yeah, I heard that the exam, I mean, the exam had mistakes, right? Yes, you why have exam tomorrow? No. No, Saturday. No, uh, no a friend of mine, a friend of mm. mine, well, actually, my friend's wife has the exam tomorrow. Okay. And, and tonight, after this class, I'm going to study with her. Okay. So I'm going to help her. In our case, in English, it's, it's a little bit more difficult because you have to do this, this exam, and then they have to do another one. Okay. Uh, one on one. Uh, it's a little bit different. It's like an interview. Como una entrevista. It's more difficult. Well, yeah, you know, in English it's complex because, I mean, in English, well, for graduating, for English, you have to take TOEFL. And if you are just a teacher, you have to take TOEFL and a cap. Right? Mm -hmm. So you need both, not just a cap, also TOEFL. My for, this, is... for this exam, they need to take three, three exams. My exam was, it was, como se dice, estaba como like a 
It was like a cup. It was uh -huh. like. It was like a cup. Yeah, well, you know, actually, you know something, Claudia? I took a cup. I was the second, let's see. Yeah, I was the second. Yeah, I was the second term who did a cup. Yo fui la segunda promoción who did a cup. Not really. Yeah, but... Uh, I didn't, I didn't a cup because... You took I the don't. bachelor. Como licenciatura first. Yes. Uh -huh. So you went straight. No, I had to do a cap first. Yo primero tomé profesorado, so I had to take a cap. Mm -hmm. But a cap wasn't that difficult for me, for me. But the problem is that when I did it from my group, when it promotion, just, just three of us approved. Solo tres aprobamos. It's more difficult. And it was. The Actually, for a cup, we had we had five hours. Teníamos cinco horas for the exam. Mm, cinco horas. Yeah, five hours. And okay. Because we I had to do three. half. Half was the special. Half was general subjects. Half was the specialty, and then we had an interview. Era media hora de examen, de generales, media hora de especialidad y luego entrevista. It was fun, believe me. Yes, and the test mat, the item. The mat, the mat test. Mat test, the mat test, los temas, ¿cómo se dice los temas? The, so, the topics. The topics are geometry. Geometry? Oh, geometry. Man, I, geometry is terrible. Geometry is, I mean, geometry for me, well, for me is closer to physics than to math. It is more difficult. Yeah, para mí es más cercano a la física que la matemática. Mm. Yes. Because you apply yes. it more in physics than math, actually. Yes, other topic, a uh, probability. Oh. It's confusing. Statistics. <laughs> no, no. Yes, yes, but, but oh. probability. So, well, let's hope okay. next opportunity you do better. Now you, have, now you have the experience, right? Yes, I, I feel bad after exam because my my cerebro how do you say my brain my my brain it it was it was resolving exercise in the in the night yeah i know i know At night. i know i mean and your area your specific area is complex yes well, Claudia, welcome to the class. Nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Okay, guys, let's see. Before we move on, let me see. I need to get attendance. <laughs> so, the first one, Ambar, Ambar Elial Faro Gomez. Present. Thank you, Ambar. Oopsie. Claudia Ramos Barrientos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Saguera Valencia. Hmm. Is not here. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Sí, it's Fernando Gilbert. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Presentation. Lucero Abigail Godinez Lopez. Presentation. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Presentation. 
Thank you. Martha, Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nathanael Ayala Aristondo. Present teacher. Thank you. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Thank you. Oscar Ricardo Alvarenga. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño. Susana Beatriz Ortiz Present. de Conejo. Thank you, Present. Silvia. Pre Present teacher. Thank you, Susana. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Present. Thank you, Fernando. Hi, Janira. How are you? Hello, teacher. How's it going? Well, you know, here's the same old story. Working, working, and working. <laughs> well, this is a normal day. Yeah, same old story as usual. Yes, I know. And drinking my medicine. Yeah, for what? Gastritis. Oh, geez. You're bad again? Yeah, you know, I, I got the flu. I got an infection on my throat, so I've been taking pills. That's why I've been needing like to take something else to quench the, 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 the pain on my stomach. Otherwise, right now it will be like, oh, terrible. Oh, Jesus. Why did you take uh, for some food or for stress or why? No, no, the pills. The pills I'm taking oh. for, my, for my infection. Okay, okay. They, oh, listen to this sentence. Hold on. They, they give you a bad effect. Hold on, hold on, be, care, be patient. It's like this. Uh -huh. They messed up my stomach. Okay. Messed up is like a uh, molester? Yeah, okay. me acaban el estómago. They messed up my stomach. Oh Jesus. The problem is this antibiotics but, and it, and ibuprofen is bad for my stomach, but it's good for my throat. Yeah, but you can use together with omeprazole. Sweetie, omeprazole is candies for me. <laughs> really? And what about yeah. Pramal? Candies. I take I take pantoprazole and I need to take like two like two or three a day. And what is your affection teacher? Combine, combine, um, combine with sucralfato. Yeah, I know. In your, I don't know how to say in English, esophago? Or the problem Esophagus? is in your stomach? Um, between my stomach and my esophagus. Ah, uh, okay. I, I know some doctor that practice uh, uh, I don't know, do you say cirugía? Surgery. Surgery for, for solve this problem. Oh, really? Like, uh, I don't know, who do you say? Um, how do you explain? Uh, Born <laughs> the, the, the stomach and, and suffer? Yeah. I know what you mean. They cut a little bit and they join it together, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I know someone that used this, how do you say cirugia? I, I can surgery. surgery. And now it's really good cool because uh, before that, he can drink soda or eat um, papitas and this stuff like a snack yeah. and a yeah. lot of food. Yeah, I know what you mean. You know, the problem is this, I get sometimes like in my case, you get used to the pain. I mean, I live with it. I live with the pain, I live with the, 
with the symptoms. So, but it's the not invasive. Invasive? It's not invasive. Invasive? No, it's chronic. Okay, I know. I know. So my so my treatment is just symptomatic. Okay. My treatment just attacks the symptoms. Okay. But, but uh, I got some problems because uh, cancer runs out in my family, so I have to be careful. And also in my family, we have problems with thyroids, so I also have to be careful. Man, I mean, it's uh, complex. But maybe you need a second opinion. I have had so many, <laughs> Okay, teacher. Bad for you. Many I hope that opinions. you get better. Yeah, you know, when I pass away, I will. I will stop suffering from this. Yes. Maybe you need to take care probably with your uh, infection. Yeah, actually what I need to be careful with is my food, what I eat. Because yes, I don't I, I don't take care of what I eat. That's one of my problems because I eat I eat spicy food, me gusta lo picante, I eat I drink a lot of coffee. That's not good. Yes, they are not your friends, teacher. Yeah, once in a while I drink uh, one or two beers, that's not good either. So uh, everything affects. Yes, I, I yeah, and I, I like know. my food fried. Y me encanta lo frito, so. It's a big problem. Yeah. A big, big one. But what can we do right now? But teacher, so, try. I, I, I sent you the contact of a uh, doctor. Sure. And try. And try. Yeah. Who knows? Perhaps it could be helpful. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe this is a solution. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because it's been many years, as I was telling Wilfredo, I, I have had this problem since I was seven. Yes, I know, teacher. Uh, that uh, person that I talk uh, has this problem for um, 11 years. And when he got this surgery, uh, get better, really better, teacher. Got better. Got, got better. better. Got better. Yeah, because we are talking in past. Yes. Excellent. Thank you. Well, it's an option. Thank you, Shamira. Yeah, of course, teacher. And welcome to the class. Let's see. Thank let's you. see. Let's see. Let's see. Who else is around? Hey, Roxana, how are you? Hi, good evening. How are you doing, my dear? I'm in my house, in my bed. Cool, comfortable. Oh, a little. How's your I hair? have a. Um, actually, I'm not very well, but I'm. I think that uh, I'm better. Uh, I no, I'm good. No, I'm, ¿cómo sería este mejor que ayer? No sé. I feel better, better than, than, yesterday. than yesterday. Yeah. Okay. But yesterday cool. it was very, very toxic day in general. And today, too, the same history. But... Oh, that means you've been working with Janira, I imagine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that uh, this week, uh, it will be very it, it will be complex because I have a lot of uh, troubles with with the payment do you remember I told you yeah. something something about, uh, yeah so today I try to uh, solve some problems but uh, I'm waiting for the result of the bank if the if the transaction could be um, no no sé si pudieron pasar perform perform what is the meaning for, for perform realizadas hechas yeah eso eso 
So I'm waiting if the transaction are performed. Okay. Where perform? Where perform? Where perform? Perform. Maybe tomorrow I have the answer, but uh, I really hope that he, the the problem the problem was uh, resolved because I have a lot of middlemen uh, very mad. With me, yeah. and, at me, and mad at me, at, mad at me, but it's not my problem. Or, or, no, my fault. Yeah, it's not my fault. But I hope the next week it will be better than this week. Well, let's hope so. Let's hope so. I mean, you gotta be patient. Sometimes at work it's like that. I understand you totally. Yeah. But today it was okay. I have a lot of meeting about that. And um, tomorrow, uh, the same history, I think. But um, everything is okay in general. Just the toxic work now. Okay. Well. Yeah, that happens. That happens. Yeah. Welcome to the class of Oksana. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Let's see who else is around. Daniel. Hello, Daniel. Are you available? Well, I think Daniel is not available right now. Let's see who else is around. Francisco, hello Francisco, you're on vacation. I just remember, right? Yes, teacher. How's everything, Francisco? Well, uh, today uh, was a, a busy day, teacher. Oh, really? Yeah. Why? You're on vacation, yeah. man. <laughs> yes, teacher, but in home there are at not vacation. At home there are not vacation. There's, there's no vacation. There's no vacation. <laughs> Today uh, was um, a cleaning day, uh, oh. laundry, laundry day, <laughs> and in the uh, in the afternoon uh, and. Uh, I, I cooking. Uh, oh, you have. I was. Cook? Yes, I was cooking. I oh was cooking. So you've been busy. <laughs> a little, Tisha, a little. So your and, wife is taking a band, I show you. Uh, <laughs> and I I try to to how do you say apoyar la Tisha? Help. 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 In this case is help. help. Yes, I try to to help uh, to her. And in the afternoon, uh, uh, I went to my mother to the um, medical appointment. Oh, really? Yes. Is everything okay? Yes, it should. Uh, the, it's a. Uh, um, uh pain in 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 her in her leg uh, oh, it yes. is possible uh, 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 how do you say teacher que sea el nervio asiático oh no my gosh the sciatic nerve sciatic nerve okay teacher it's possible uh, that happen uh, with 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 chin with her with her yes teacher and and in 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 the uh, in all things uh, i spent my day teacher <laughs> okay well 
yeah, that's vacation for some of us. I mean, that yes, means teacher. working at home. That's the yes. only difference. Tomorrow is possible. Uh, uh, I take a, a rest. Well, let's <laughs> hope possible. so. Let's hope so. <laughs> and you say that like this it's possible. I mean, I'm it's not possible. sure, but let's hope so. The, 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 the yeah, case uh, there are a, a, a sometime maintenance activity in my in my homes. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. I got you completely. I understand you. Okay, guys, just give me one second, please, please. Okay, okay, so sorry guys, I have to do something. Let's see, let's see, let me see, yes, I still got time. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Nathanael, hello, how are you? Hi teacher, how are you? I'm just fine, just fine, how are you? Um, I am a little tired only because I, um, the work is very, very busy, but right now it's okay. Really? Yeah. Well, yeah, some days are pretty hard at work, right? Yeah, uh, sometimes it's, it's more complicated than others, but I am okay, I am okay. And I you, what's, um, what did you help? Well, improving, getting better, you know, it takes some time. Probably you need to add tequila. Well, you know, I don't know, one tequila and five lemons or five tequilas and one lemon. I don't, I don't remember. With lemon. I don't remember which is the receipt. If it's <laughs> one tequila and five lemons or five tequilas and one lemon. I'll try both. <laughs> Okay, uh, so, uh, something is uh, it's okay when it's better with, with you. Yeah, you know, everything with lemons is good. Yeah, <laughs> not the key. Yeah, actually, you know, you know something funny? I'm not that, that good at tequila. Why? It's just that, I don't know, I am more like scotch. I love scotch. Yeah. I love whiskey. Whiskey, so, whiskey with, with, with ice. Um, yeah, I can take it with ice or, or dry, seco. Uh, ah, okay, okay. Or, or uh, Irish coffee. Really? I, I never... I've never tried. 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 Yeah. With, 
with uh, uh, with coffee? Uh, it depends on the weather is good. I mean, okay. if it's if you are in a very cold weather, si está en un clima muy frío, if it's snowing, si está nevando, believe me, an Irish coffee is good. Okay. Okay. I mean, you take a, a cup of coffee with a shot of, of, of scotch and it's nice. But it, as I tell you, it depends on the weather. Okay. Okay. It's necessary to, to, to have a, a reason. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, to take it. Yeah, but okay. you know, just once in a while, it's okay. Do regularly is not that good. <laughs> okay. 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 Perfect. Perfect. Hey, hey Nathanael. Nice. Tequilita, Nathanael, before to go to bed. Yeah. Uh, before, <laughs> before going to bed, I recommend you as a scotch, a single scotch, or perhaps uh, a cup of wine. Uh, a couple right. of wine is, is, is okay. Pero con medida, Nathanael. Yeah, yeah, only one. Yeah, he says, he says, he says two fingers, like this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, Nathanael, welcome to the class. Perfect. Hey, thanks. Let's see, let's see. Silvia, hello, Silvia. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm good, thank you. Okay, Silvia, we are going to get serious because Silvia says that ah, not drinking for her. How was your day, Silvia? Uh, it was good. Everything was good. Today was my day off. Oh, cool. So what did you do today? Now, in the morning, I stayed home and in the afternoon, I went to the beach with a friend. Oh, nice. Did you go swimming? Yeah. No, I didn't swim. We went just for a walk, for a stroll. Do you like do you like swimming on the on the ocean? Not some. I don't do it usually. I like it, but you know, I have to 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 bring a, a swimsuit, and I have to get dressed there sometimes. So it's a little complicated for me. I like to okay, go to see you, the sunset. Can you swim in the ocean? Yes, I can. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I ask you because I mean, I can swim, but you know something funny? I used to spend all my vacations uh, at El Tunco I, and I never swam in the ocean. Oh, really? Why? Yeah, I, I just got scared. And that's funny because my, my cousins used to surf a lot. Mm -hmm. My cousins- Have you tried my, surfing? Well, no, just, just the, 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 how do you call that one that you just surf with the chest, the little part of one? Mm. A bodyboard? Yeah, bodyboard. I have tried bodyboard, but you know, not that, not that deep. Ah, oh, yes. I have because... tried bodyboard too, but I haven't taken like a, a surfboard. And I have, I've never been so deep because the waves are really big and I get scared when I'm just starting to surf. Yeah, and that's funny because I mean, my, my, one of my cousins, he was an instructor of surfing. Well, my niece was uh, this lady who, who passed away. Do you remember? At El Tunco? Yeah. yeah, I remember that. Erica? Girl. Okay, she was my niece. Oh, really? You, yes, yeah, you yeah. told me, I remember. Yeah, she was my niece. So, I mean, all my family that I got there, all they can swim in the ocean, all they can surf. And I used to spend all my vacations there and I never learned how to. <laughs> but it's you funny, have to, right? it's very fun. It's very funny, yeah. Yeah, you know, what I think is that if I really want to lose the fear, I am thinking about jumping from the from the port. Estoy pensando realmente en saltar de allá del muelle. From the port, from the how do you call dock? From the dock. Yeah, that's yeah, how you, you call. Yeah, you told me already. 
Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking about it. I'm no, about that it. I think that's dangerous. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, when you are there, you have to. Yeah, you have to. <laughs> There's no other way than to go to the to the. I mean, to to just to swim. Yeah, that's right. I don't. I don't. I, I wouldn't like to to jump in the in the dock. Well, we pushed a friend once. Oh, really? And what happened? Everything was good? Well, yeah, another friend of us jumped after him because my friend wanted to wanted to lose his fear. And he was like, yeah, I want to I want to learn because he wanted to learn how to surf, and, but he was too afraid. So once we went there and we told him, well, you need to, to jump from here. He was like a little bit scared, no, like like he was undecided. So we helped him. Um take the decision, we push it. <laughs> oh, and that's funny. <laughs> yeah, we were young and irresponsible. Oh, yes, I know. <laughs> yeah, but it was funny. Yeah, you, you are right, it was funny. Hey, Sylvia, nice having you here. Thank you, welcome. Thank you. Oh, oh my gosh, guys, the first hour went away. Please let me get the attendance one more time. I'm Barely Alfaro Gomez. Sorry, present. Thank you, Ambar. Claudia Lizette Ramos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Uh, Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa. Present, teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present, teacher. Lucero Abigail Godínez. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Natanael Ayala Aristondo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Oscar Ricardo Alvarenga. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Chanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present. Okay, perfect guys. Let me share with you one screen so we can start with this. Let's see, let's see. Okay, here we are just going to get vocabulary from here. This is in your manual in page number 24. Read the following excerpt about tips to design focus group questions. In this case, we are just going to review it in order to get vocabulary. So let me read for you. You can help your members have a more productive session by asking questions that grab their attention and get them to provide more honest and complete responses. Introductions. Begin the session with a set of questions that will enable focus groups members to get to know each other better. An example, their favorite hobbies and interests, what they enjoy, focus groups, etc. Number two. Fun starter questions or activity. Ask a fun questions or do a team building game to get the group's creativity flowing. For example, ask them to think of three words to describe their favorite hobby. Number three, format. When choosing focus group questions, be sure to include a mix of multiple choice questions to provide the structure and direction and open-ended questions to allow for further exploration and discovery. Rating scale. Select an appropriate rating scale to measure different levels of approval. Number five, specify. Avoid vague open-ended questions that simply ask why. The word why 
has a negative meaning. It makes the respondent think their first anger, what their first answer, sorry, was not good. Instead, ask respondents to provide some specific examples of what they liked or did not like about the item in question. Number six, closing. Thank the participants for their help and ask if there if there is anything. Oh, I'm sorry, if there anything could be done to improve their experience as a member of the focus group. Okay, this vocabulary is related to questions, right? When we are talking about a focus group questions. But now, today we are going to be working with this, the production line. And we have the question, what does prototype mean? What type of new products in your opinion require the building of a prototype before mass production? And does your company make use of prototypes? But now actually what we are going to do is focus on the conversation. That's what I want you to work with. So the conversation goes like this. Listen to the situation. Tom and Diana are discussing ideas to begin prototyping a new basical model. Read the conversation and take turns practicing. So remember, we are talking about a new bicycle model. And the conversation goes like this. The accelerator has green light to be produced. Now we need to work on the prototype. Great. I think our base choice is to hire steel masters. So they build a good prototype to help us spot any flaw we haven't identified in the design. I agree, Tom. The prototype will help our manufacturers to be very accurate with the design of the handlebars, the frame and the saddle, which are the innovative features of the accelerator. Good point. In addition, the prototype will ensure communication is clear. They will know exactly what we want. Totally. Then I'll work on the sketch of the parts and you might want to start with the description and the specification of each. So still masters start working. All right. Let me pronounce one more time for you guys. The accelerator has green light to be produced. Now we need to work on the prototype. Great. I think our best choice is to hire steel masters. So they build a good prototype to help us spot any flaw we haven't identified in the design. I agree, Tom. The prototype will help our manufacturers to be very accurate with the design of the handlebars, the frame and the saddle which are the innovative features of the accelerator. Good point. In addition, the prototype will ensure communication is clear. They will know exactly what we want. Totally. Then I'll work on the sketch of the parts and you might want to start with the description and specifications of each. So still masters start working. All right. I will read one more time. The accelerator has green light to be produced. Now we need to work on the prototype. Great. I think our best choice is to hire steel masters. So they build a good prototype to help us spot any flaw we haven't identified in the design. I agree, Tom. The prototype will help our manufacturers to be very accurate with the design of the handlebars. the frame and the saddle, 
which are the innovative features of the accelerator? Good point. In addition, the prototype will ensure communication is clear. They will know exactly what we want. Totally. Then I'll work on the sketch of the parts. And you might want to start with the description and specifications of each. So still masters start working. All right. Okay, guys, now I'll give you time for you to practice the conversation. Any question about the vocabulary? What is accelerator? It's the name of the of the of the bicycle. It's a given name. Es un nombre propio en este caso. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, guys, groups are created. Please jump in four minutes to practice. Then we come back here. Use, use es, es otra, otra palabra. Ah, uh, help use. Ah, uh, yeah. Help, uh, help us. Uh, help us. Help us. Help us. Uh, help us. Help us. Eso. Sorry, help, us. help us. Help us. Help us. Help us. Okay. Thank you. I agree, Tom. The prototype will help our manufacturers to be to be very accurate with the design of the handlebars, the frame and the saddle, saddle. which saddle, which are the innov innovative. What is the correct pronunciation, teacher? Inno uh. inno innovative. Which are the innovative? 
No. Okay, well, uh, 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 Diana. Diana. Diana, the three, the uh, three paragraphs. Innovative, innovative. Innovative, okay, thank you. Which are the innovative features of the accelerator? Features, features. Features, features. features. thank you. Good point. With the expression and the specification of it, so the steam master start working. All right. Okay. Teacher. Yes. How do you say pro prototype? I don't know. Like that. Prototype. A uh, prototype. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, I I will start. The accelerator has green light to be produced. Now we produced. need to work on, sorry? Produce. produce. Produce now, we need to work on the prototype. Great, I think all the choice is here, still master. So they boy and good and put right to help this sport and the flower. We haven't identified in the design. I agree, Tom. The prototype will help our manufacturers to be very accurate with the design of the handlebars, the frame and the saddle, which are the innovative features of the accelerator. Accurate, accurate. Ac accurate, okay. Okay, good point. In addition, the prototype. Manufacturers should be very accurate with the design of the handlebars, the frame and the saddle, which are the innovative feature of the accelerator. Good point. In addition, the prototype will ensure communication is clear. They will know exactly what we want. Totally. Then I will work on the sketch of the parts and you might want to start with the description and a specification of me. <sighs> Yeah, you were driving? No, just stay in my house. Oh. When you passed the first. Uh, but you were driving today? Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. A risk on the street. If I see you, I jump. <laughs> Remember, remember the, the tickets are my expensive now. Yeah, remember, Maria Alejandra? <laughs> no, I respect, I respect the rules. <laughs> tickets are very, very expensive nowadays. Yeah. Maria. I didn't have a car to ready because I don't have a place or place. Do, I do you know. drive like a Toretto, Maria? <laughs> Yeah, Only she's fast morning. and furious. Yeah, she's <laughs> fast and furious on the street. But, but actually, you know, Wilfredo, the fast and furious is Janira. Oh, right, yes. Janira? Really? This is true. I drive very fast. Hey, nice to know that because in general, women uh, drive slow. I don't know. Why? Yeah, but, but not me. Some, <laughs> some drivers uh, say to my boyfriend, wow, your, your microbusera. Yeah, <laughs> your boyfriend drive like a microbusera because <laughs> some microbus um, try to invade, teacher, how do you say invade? Invade. Invade my, my way. And yeah. and I continue to well, advance. Don't stop, didn't stop. <laughs> yes, because it's 
is my way and he invite my my way then i uh, <laughs> yo no permito eso how do you say that I don't, teacher i don't let that to happen i don't let that happen because i respect the rule and i spend that another respect the rule and i very fighting in, in when i drive do you oh, yes yeah, sure <laughs> Do you remember the You are frightening. Usted es atemorizante. No, teacher, come on. I very friendly. Look, look Wilfredo, she's got a big truck. Tiene una camioneta grande. And she drives like the street belongs to her. Y maneja Por... que la calle le pertenece. So, you got to be careful. I remember that you have a blue car. No. I have two, uh, a Hyundai uh, and a Cliente. Okay. No. <laughs> what? What's the other one, Janina? A Ford Escape. And the you other? See? It's a truck. Ford Escape. Escape. A Ford Escape? Yeah, it's a big truck. <laughs> For me, I see you in the street, Janina. Yeah, you gotta get away. No. I, I respect the rules, but I don't I don't let that another she uh, respect the rules. Right the only problem is that she writes her own <laughs> rules. <laughs> it's not true, it's not true. I respect the rules. I hate when someone uh, drive in the uh, the way for 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 help. The fast lane. The fast lane. I don't know how to say that, teacher. Help me, please. Eh, odio cuando la gente se va en, en el carril de emergencia y se meten en la punta. Oh. Yeah, I hate that too. Be because I, I I wait and I respect the, the quick, then I... The queue. The, the queue. queue. The queue. Sure. Yeah, Janira will be very happy driving in the carpool. Yeah. In the you what? Know? Carpool. What what is that? There's there's one street in Germany. I don't remember the name. Hay una calle en Alemania. I don't remember the name. She don't will be limit. happy in that street. That's in the, Germany, the there's is, yeah, there's no limit. There's not speed limit. Really? Nice. Yep. <laughs> they got they got one <laughs> street like that. In, in, the, in the last travel to to the US, I drive in a, in a freeway, yeah, and I I drive to I drop I drop to around two hundred miles an hour. So you got the international uh, license. Don't say that, teacher. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, you know, driving, driving in the highway, driving in the highway can be stressful. Because in the well, driving highway or freeway? Freeway. Okay, driving in the freeway is kind of stressful because I mean the freeways you got many lanes. Yes. And you got to be careful when when there's your out. Yes. Because I mean, when you realize you're out past, cuando se dio yes, su salida, because you drive very fast. Yeah, I mean, 60 miles an hour, like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and that's why I love highways. Me encantan los highways. Highways are like free, like comfortable, and smaller roads sometimes i think to drive in this uh javali but my mom is very um scared yeah it's scared <laughs> with my <laughs> with my idea yeah, mira, have you drove have you drove there Uh, between to Oregon and Boise. Oh. Oh, you got an interstate. Interstates are nice to drive. 
Yeah, it's very, it's very interesting. Is it's so cool. Yeah, the only bad thing about interstates is that they are so straight, so tan rectas. It's so boring. Uh, no, really, is you you will you sleep. drive very fast. It's not. <laughs> you imagine a una curva. <laughs> Janira, believe me, driving like for <laughs> driving coming from Detroit to Los Angeles. My interstate is boring. Yes, teacher, pero, but, but we uh, take a turn. Three, three, three people take a turn. Turns, take turns. Turn. Yeah, take a turn. Yeah, because I mean, believe me, when you come after one or two states, I mean, you are like shifting on your seat. ¿Cómo se va moviendo en el asiento? Because it's so uh, horrible. Yeah, we, we drive from to San Francisco from Boise. Then we drive for three states. San, Francisco, San Francisco is a very interesting place to drive. <laughs> yes, very, very, I don't drive in San Francisco. Interesting. Because a lot of uh, police Police, yeah, and, policeman and police and the streets police. are like weird some areas are weird yeah yeah then we drive but uh, you didn't visit cuba avenue right no let me remember no i, I don't remember <laughs> i know you didn't i know you didn't <laughs> really what yeah, is teacher Q, uh, no comments i'll see you guys <laughs> <laughs> Exactly what we want. Really, guys? Oh, I'm sorry. Damn. Excuse me, Ready? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's go back to the main room. We're just waiting for your classmates to come back in 10 seconds. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh my gosh, did I miss one already? Let's see, Ambar, you're gonna be first. Your name starts with A, Ambar and Claudia. Ambar, you'll start. Okay, the accelerator has green light to be produced. produced. Now we need to work on the prototype. Great. I think our best choice is to hire a steam master. So they build a good prototype to help us stop any flaw we haven't identified in the design. I agree, Tom. The prototype will help our manufacturers to be very accurate with the design of the handlebars, the frame and the saddle, which are the innovative features of the accelerator. Good point. In addition, the prototype will ensure communication <coughs> is clear. They will know exactly what we want. Totally. Then I'll work on the sketch of the parts and you might want to start with the descrip description and specification of each. So still masters start with working.
All right. Okay, perfect, ladies. Just one little thing, Amber. Accurate. 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 Perfect. Excellent. Now, let's see. Let's see. Daniel, are you ready? Or not yet? Then it's Fernando. No, Fernando, no. Francisco and Jose Osorio. Francisco, you'll start. Hey, teacher. The accelerator has green light to be produced now. We need to work on the prototype. Great. I think our best choice is to hire steel masters so they build a good prototype to help us spot any flaw we haven't identified in the design. I agree, Tom. The project will help our manufacturers to be very accurate with the design on the handlebars, the frame, on the saddle, which are the innovative feature of the accelerator. Good point. In addition, the prototype will ensure communication is clear. They will know exactly what we want. Totally, then I will work on the sketch of the parts, and you might want to start with the description and specification of each. So a steel master start working. Okay, right. perfect, perfect, perfect. Identify, identify. That's Jose, identify. And Francisco, okay, you got it. manufacturers, manufacturers. And manufacturers. Yeah, and innovative, innovative, Francisco. Innovative. Perfect. Okay, teacher, thank you. Thanks to you guys. Maria Alejandra and Marta. Maria Alejandra, you'll start. Okay. The accelerator has green light to be produced. Now we need to work on the prototype. Great. I think our best choice is to hide steel master so they build a good prototype to help use spot at flow we haven't identified in the design agree Tom the prototype we help our manufacturers to be very accurate with the design of the handle bar the frame and the sandal we they are in innovative features of the accelerator. Good point. In addition, the prototype will ensure communication is clear. They will know exactly what we want. Certainly. Then I will work on this page of the part. And you might want to start with the description and a specification of each. So a skill master start working. All right. Perfect. Saddle. Saddle. Okay. Saddle. Excellent. Thank you very much. Nathanael and Nicolas. Nathanael, you'll start. Okay. Give me a second. Okay. The X elevator. And the big accelerator has green light to be produced. Now we need to work on the prototype. Right. I think our best choice is to hire skill masters. So they build a good prototype to help us spot any flaw we haven't identified in the design. I agree, Tom. The prototype will help our manufacturers to be to be very accurate with uh, the design of the handlebars, the frame, and the saddle, which are the innovative future of the X accelerator. Good point. In addition, the prototype will ensure communication is clear. They will know exactly what we want. Totally. 
then I will work of the sketch of the parts and you might, might want to start with the description and the specification of each. So it's still master, start working. All right. Okay, Nathanael, accurate. 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 Perfect. Roxana and Susana. Roxana, you'll start. Okay. The accelerator has green light to be produced. Now we need to work on the prototype. Great. I think our best choice is to hire a steel master so they will a good prototype to help us spot any flaw we haven't identified in the design. I agree, Tom. The prototype will help our manufacturers to be very accurate with the design of the handlebar, the frame and the saddle, which are the motiva motivated- Innovative. Innovative, sorry. Innovative features of the accelerator. Good point. In addition, the prototype will ensure that communicator is clear. They will know exactly what we want. Totally. Then I'll work on the sketch of the parts. And you might want to start with the descriptions and a specification of each. So still master, start working. All right. Okay, Susana, identify, identify. Identify. Thank you, ladies. Identify. Walter and Wilfredo. Wilfredo, you'll start. Okay. The accelerator has green light to, to be produced. Now we need to go in the prototype. Great. I do our best choice is to hear still master and so they can build a good prototype to help you spot any flow. We haven't identified in the side. I agree, Walter. The prototype will help our manufacturers to be very accurate with the design of the handy bar, the front and the saddle, which are the innovating future of the accelerator. Good point. In addition, the prototype and will ensure communication is clear that we know exactly what we want. Totally, then I work in the stage of the part and you might want to start with the description and specification of each. The steel master start working. All right. Okay, perfect. Walter, higher, higher, higher. Identify, 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 identify. Wilfredo, the frame and the saddle. Okay, perfect. Now, William and Shanira. Let's see, William, you start. Okay, so the accelerator has green light to be produced. Now we need to work on the prototype. Great, I think our best choice is to hire a steel master. So they build a good prototype to help us explore and throw we haven't identified in the design. Identify. Identify. Right. I already told the prototype will hurt our manufacturers to be very accurate with the design on the handy bars, the frame on the saddle, which are the innovative features and the accelerator. Good 
point. In addition, the prototype will ensure communication is clear. They will know exactly what we want. Alrighty, then I work on this case of the files and you might want to start with with description and specification of his. So it's the master start working. All right. Perfect. Very well done. Now, guys, we got the questions that we need to talk about. Let me share with you so you can check them out. Okay, we have here three questions. What are two reasons Diana and Tom mentioned to build a prototype of the accelerator? And number two, what are the distinctive features of the new product? And number three, what two tasks will Diana and Tom do before ordering the prototype to Steel Masters? Okay, guys, this is, these are simple questions. Two minutes are enough for you to answer them. So I'll send you back to the groups. You just got two minutes. It's quite easy, easy cheesy. So let's jump in, solve it, and let's go back, okay? I really happy because I I I don't need to to drive. I'm happy work from my house. <laughs> yes. So you don't need to drive. Oh yeah, sure. That's happiness. Yeah, teacher. Not traffic. And, and Not gas traffic. is expensive. Yes. Then I'm really happy to to work from my house. Yeah, it's good and bad. In my case, it's bad because, man, I get desperate being home all day. Oh, terrible. <laughs> Why, teacher? Because, you know, I am used to be out on the street every day, all day long. Do you, uh, do you like to stay at home? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why, teacher? Because I have to work and I have to help around the house at the same time, man. And sometimes <laughs> I get I get behind on my working. In my case, in my in my case, I only work. I don't oh. have <laughs> and the problem is that if they see me home, they I am the designated driver. Okay. Because my in-laws, my father-in-law, he can drive, but if I am home, he's looking for me, like, take me here, take me there. And it's okay for me, but sometimes I'm too busy. Yes, I, I, I understand that. Because and in my look, case, I, I, I only, well, well, only my father and me drive. Then when my mother or my brother need to to move on, he or me. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, and like my my mother-in-law, whenever she's got a, a doctor appointment, I have to take her. So man, it's like <laughs> uh, stressful. Yes, I can imagine. That's why I want my son to learn how to drive properly so I, he can be taking them. Hey, here's a, a new a new partner. A new, yeah, a new member of the group. That's yeah. Wilfredo. You know, that young guy is Wilfredo. 
Yes. <laughs> I, I, it I, looks I, completely different. If you I don't tell... remember him, it's a guy who used to wear a bird <laughs> and long hair. That's the same guy. His name is Wilfredo. I told him yesterday, maybe his why, uh, maybe his why say, I need a, a younger man. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, you know something funny, Janina? What, teacher? They dye my hair. <laughs> Why? They don't want, because I got a lot of white hair, actually. Ah, you need a, 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 a cut your hair. No, I got white hair. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Yes, I got white hair since I was 16. Yo tengo canas desde los 16. Really? Yep, and my wife always is after me like, let me dye your hair, let me dye your hair. <laughs> he wants to paint it once in a while because I got white hair on my head and my beard. That's why she wants me all the time to be shaved. Por eso me quieren rasurado todo el tiempo. Uh, my, my beard is, is like is half white. of it is white. Wow. It's a good idea for a Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Marielena. <laughs> Sorry, teacher, it's a joke. <laughs> you know what? I hate Christmas. <laughs> yes. She told me, you know, Wilfredo, she told me, all and fat. <laughs> no, teacher. <laughs> Well, no. she told me all but the, cute. All, uh, but cute, yeah, teacher, but cute. Yeah, yeah, whatever. And, and teacher, maybe. Don't try to say you her. need Don't to try buy. To say her. You need to buy a lot of gifts, teacher. I hate Christmas, Yamina. <laughs> Come on, teacher. It's a good teacher, season. But, but you yeah. don't celebrate or. or... I don't. Uh -huh. I never celebrate. Christmas. Yes, I remember. You like other a green teacher? Why no, don't like that it? that guy is a sweet person compared to me. Ese tipo es muy dulce comparado conmigo. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a lie. Uh, Christmas for me is ah uh, horrible. Oh. Come on, teacher. Adornos or decorations? Decorations. No, I decorations. don't like decorations. No, no, no. And that's what the do funny you part. like, teacher? Do you like something? Yeah, reading. What? <laughs> reading. <laughs> oh, yeah, only Christmas. money. Uh, oh, sorry. Only money. Uh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> well, no. He, uh, he, I don't only, like money. he only hear money and your face change. Can you see the <laughs> smile? Money, money, money. <laughs> no, but I. You know, the only, the only why, the only reason why I like money is because I have so many debts. <laughs> Come on, teacher, they're right. All, all the, all the people love. Yeah, money. need to say like this and have a two cars, two houses, yeah, travel yeah. around the world. No. <laughs> two travels I, around the world, many houses, <laughs> many cars around. I only have one house and <laughs> only have two cars because we... Uh, a very expensive sure. house, Wilfredo. <laughs> no, not Are really. Imagine? No, not really. It's not. It's Are not you true. Imagine? And I, I am bored. And she doesn't what? have kids. Yes, uh -huh. I don't have kids. This is a reason. So, you yeah, have a good why, point, teacher. That's why she's got money, you see? <laughs> yeah. it, it is enough money for you, Yanira. Yeah. Well, you know, Maria Alejandra, this is a reason that I have uh, something. No, but uh, Maria Alejandra told me that she's getting married soon. 
<laughs> really? Yeah, she told me. Yeah. It's not really. Hey, great, great to hear that, Maria. And Charles? Maria Alejandra, no. kid? So she want told kid? me she wants five. <laughs> what? No. Come on. <laughs> like a no. kinder. No, 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 no quiero guardería. <laughs> yeah, she, she told me rabbits are nothing compared. <laughs> Medio, medio equipo, teacher. Yeah, half a team. No, well, she loves basketball. basketball. Yeah, five. Six or five. Incomplete. Yeah. Yeah, Maria Alejandra says five kills is okay. To start. But, but I have, but I have a, a poor doubt, teacher. This is expensive. My dear, you don't know what's expensive. You don't really know what's expensive. Yes, teacher, As Wilfredo. As Wilfredo. I, I pay you don't the know bed. what's I expensive. My father say que somos unos cuchitos, como ajá, de esos que se yeah. llevan. <laughs> piggy bank. Se, ajá, piggy, piggy bank. bank. And you put a lot of money, and then you put a lot of money, and nunca se llenan, ¿cómo se diría? Yeah, they never fill up. No, Janira, you don't know what's expensive until you have a couple of kids. One kid, believe me. Oh, Jesus. Ask Wilfredo oh. about it. Yes, it yeah, is, it is nice. It is, it is, it is difficult, but when they grow, grow up, what I'm crazy? Yeah, when they grow up. When, when they grow up. It is nice because the yeah, they told me that. I mean, my head yeah. so I'm still waiting for it. <laughs> In, I'm so sorry, but, 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 but I think that it's not for all. It's not by me. Yeah, yeah, I know. I understand. I understand you. Yeah, I no, have. Kids I'm are happy. cool. <laughs> kids okay. are cute. Kids are cute. Los niños son bonitos. The neighbors ones, so del vecino. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you're right, teacher. You're or right, friends, are you uh, forward or regresar? <laughs> yeah, you can give them back. You can uh -huh. give them back, you but yours back. You for, only, for only a short moment. Oh, it's a cute, yeah. da, 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 and bye. Yeah, and you know, Maria <laughs> told me that she would love to have twins. Oh, twins. No. My brothers yeah. are twins. <laughs> Maria dice que ella le encantaría tener gemelos. No, to have you, you know that is Maria Alejandra. My brothers are twins, and my mom say that was my crazy. brothers is the same case, but these are mellizos uh, because oh, really? one is a, black, a white, or I don't know, and the other is moreno. <laughs> brunette, brunette. Brunette. Let's see, let's see. Where's Ambar? Ambar, where are you? Hello. Hello, Ambar. I got a question for you, Ambar. Tell me, if you want a lot of money, what would you do? If I have a lot of money, well, I would travel around the world. Oh, nice. And tell me, which country will be the first you will visit? Norway. Norway? Yeah. Sorry? Norway. Norway. Norway, yes. Norway. Norway. Oh, yes. nice. 
let's see Norway it's a little bit cold it depends on the part on the time of the year it's a little bit cold nice but mountains I, nice mountains actually I want to know know them because there are oh there are there there have a beautiful landscapes yeah nice mountains and beautiful uh waterfalls yes waterfalls there are nice awesome yeah nice choice a very yes. good choice just the language yeah. is a little bit tricky but <laughs> I English try will it. help you. <laughs> English will be helpful. <laughs> no, no, no. It's possible, you know. You can communicate right now. Yes. Oh. Thank you, Amber. <laughs> Quite interesting. Thank yeah, you. no, believe in yourself. You can communicate. And that's the first step. Now, let's see. William. Tell me William, if you want a lot of money, what would you do? Tell me. If you have a lot of money. I understand there, teacher. Si tuviese mucho dinero, ¿qué haría? I would say pobre. Yeah, we are, but if you have, pero si lo tuviese. No. How do you say poverty? Poor, poor. Uh, share with the, oh. yeah. Share, share, uh, share with the poor people. Uh, nice. And me never, never, no, no. Interesting money, huh? never. Okay, that's cool, that's prefer, cool, excellent. Prefer uh, the best friends. Excellent. To cherry is always good. Thank you very much, William. Quite interesting. Okay. okay. Francisco. No teacher. Tell me, Francisco, if you had to move to another country because of your job, what country would you prefer if you had a choice? Mm. Canada. Canada? Tell me why. Or, um, because the, I think uh, there are many opportunities. The like country uh, um, for example, uh, uh, I think uh, uh, start a business. And I think the the Canada is is maybe a a good how do how do you say this year mercado o sea de market mercado pero refiriéndose como al al yep market market oh, okay oh interesting thank you interesting Daniel I got a question for you. Hi, teacher. Tell me. Hello, Daniel. I got a deep Hello. question for you. Be <clears throat> careful. Be careful because we have pretty, pretty <laughs> delicate girls here. Do you think are men and women always treated equally here in our country? No. Why not? <clears throat> well, for example, me and my wife are the owner of the, our company. Yes. And we have a problems different times because for example i i am the one who's always in in the project but when i have to go for example to a kahoot and the project it's here in san salvador i go with my wife that she is an engineer too and say to the employees she's the one who's going to be in charge meanwhile i am at uh, out, for example, and she always told me that 
the employees treat her different. For example, oh, really? when I am there, they are like more, oh, we have to work and always working. But when she's there, that happened around, uh, well, it's more common than we think. Uh, for example, uh, I was in the project and then go with her and say, and say that to the employees. And I go to Akahutla and when she came back with them, they were sit and relaxing. And she was like, what, what are you doing? You should work. No, they, they say, no, the, uh, the engineer has just gone. So we're gonna rest a little. And that, well, it's understandable that can happen when they have a lot of time working and with no rest. But in that occasion, they have just, they have just ending drinking the soda. So oh, that's really? the, yeah, that's the time that we, that they rest and relax. After that, uh, the work continues. But in that occasion, they want to stay there calm. And I believe oh. that's not a way to treat her because even if she's, uh, don't, well, a man or woman, they, uh, must give she give her respect because she is the one who is in charge. I understand you totally. Interesting, quite interesting. Thank you very much, Daniel. Thanks Thank for sharing that with us. Quite interesting. Okay. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry, guys. It's 1002. I am so sorry. Perdón, son las 10 con dos. Sorry guys, I just got excited with the exercises. Okay, I still have some questions, but I guess I'm going to make them tomorrow. También un par de preguntas más, pero las haremos el día de mañana. Let me get the final attendance, please. Ambarelli Alfaro Gómez. Present. Claudia Lizet Ramos Barrientos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present, teacher. Fernando Marvin González. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa. Present. José Ernesto Osorio. Present. Lucero Abigail Godínez. Present. María Alejandra Barrientos. Present. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present, teacher. Natanaela Ayala Aristondo. Present, teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Oscar Ricardo Alvarenga. Roxana Ibeta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales. Present teacher. Chanira Elizabeth Asensio. Present. Thank you. Guys, uh, I will explain in Spanish. Pasaré al español. Les ruego me disculpen los que no les di la oportunidad, pero se me fue el tiempo. Se puso muy interesante la conversación. Tomorrow I will take you into an account. I am so sorry for the ones that we couldn't talk that much today. It was a very nice and interesting class. Thank you very much, guys. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. You. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Francisco, hello. Hello, teacher. Francisco, where are you going? It's fine, teacher. Do you, do you have time? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, perfect. Because I want to mention something to you. Let's see, let's let me just say bye to Mr. Osorio. Oh, Jose is gone. Okay, let's see, let's see. There's something that, oh, now that you're on vacation, there's something that I would like you to work on. Hay un punto que me gustaría que revisara. 
Tal vez me le dan espacio en la casa. Because when we are on vacation, they never let you rest, right? No, no dejan descansar. It's correct, teacher. Okay. Perdón, quitaré mucho tiempo. Ok, no, no problem, teacher, no problem. I have, okay, I have sorry. time. Sorry, sorry, no, no, no era this. It was this. Ok, ¿se acuerda que la vez pasada le mencioné que podíamos buscar acá en centro de ayuda? Sí. Ok, me interesaría que se viniera a la parte de acá de grammar. Intermediate. Intermediate. Y quiero que venga a... Que tal vez si le queda tiempo, hay dos puntos que necesito que revise. Que estoy sí, seguro sí. que me va a ayudar mucho. Number nine and number ten. Gerund, subject and object and infinitives after certain verbs. Okay. En el que usted está ahorita, estos dos puntos, créeme, si lo revisa, le van a ayudar un montón y le van a aclarar eh, cómo usar mejor algunos verbos. Ok, okay. Eh, so lo voy a anotar. Eh, sería en Intermediate Grammar, número 9 y número 10, ¿verdad? Yes, number 9 and number 10. No es algo que usted esté haciendo del todo mal, pero podemos mejorarlo un poquito. Y le va a ayudar okay, muchísimo. Sure. Se lo recomiendo, porque sí, va a sentir usted como... Este, lo que sucede es que uno de ellos es el gerundio. Se recuerda que les he estado mencionando de que después de algunas palabritas usamos el verbo en ING como for playing, for dancing, after, finishing, right? Y si usted se fija, yo los uso mucho. Teacher, quiero que solo voy a conectar la compu, menos de un minuto. Es porque me entró el safe energy. Creo que la batería ya... It's ya dying. Está... <risa> Después de que tire el mensaje, hablo mucho, unos tres minutos. Y se yeah, apaga. No, I know. That happens to me. Ok, teachers. Ok, the situation is this. Eh... Si nosotros logramos un dominio de ellos, de sus puntos, créame, una, va a sonar más natural a la hora de hablar. Y la otra, puede ser que le aclare un par de dudas a la hora de cuando alguien más está hablando, entender la diferencia entre el, el progresivo, los tiempos progresivos, lo que estamos haciendo en el momento, y el gerundio, que suena parecido, más no es lo mismo. Y puede ser que usted ya tenga una noción, pero es bueno siempre repasarlo. Es un punto de un poquito pesadito, pero créame, eh, when you're speaking, if you got a good command of gerunds, you will sound more natural. Se va a sonar más natural y cuando nosotros dominamos el gerundio, aún para una persona que ya habla en inglés, eh, le hace entender que nuestra fluidez es mejor. ¿Ok? También nos ayuda en ese sentido. Sure. Nos da una mayor fluidez, nos hace que nos entendamos, nos damos a entender de una mejor manera. Y, I mean, it's something about practicing, right? But, I mean, it's not something that you get to use every single day. No es algo que nosotros escuchemos todos los días. Entonces, mm -hmm. porque no es nuestro idioma, pues acá no se habla. Entonces, en nuestro caso, sí tenemos que estudiarlo. Y tratar de practicarlo un poquito más. Le recomiendo eso porque el gerundio y el infinitivo en muchos casos significan lo mismo. Solo que hay unas reglas específicas. Con la diferencia de que el gerundio es que a veces nosotros utilizamos un verbo como un sujeto. Le voy a poner un ejemplo. Playing soccer is a good exercise. Ana let's analyze that sentence. Playing soccer, el jugar fútbol, is a good exercise. In this, play, in this case, playing soccer is the subject, el sujeto. Iniciemos con un verbo, 
Si usted inicia una oración con un verbo en inglés, lo puede iniciar en gerundio. En gerundio. Que es el verbo en ING, pero se entiende en su forma simple porque funciona como un sujeto, en este caso. No, okay. no como un verbo. Uh -huh. Porque realmente el sujeto en esta ocasión es la acción de jugar fútbol específicamente. Playing. Uh -huh. Yeah. Studying English every day could be beneficial for you. Hoy el sujeto más largo que hemos puesto. Studying English every day. Usted puede decir to study English every day y significa exactamente lo mismo. Which is the difference then? ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Oh, la diferencia es que cuando usted dice studying English every day suena mejor. Suena más natural for, for English. For English speaking people, it sounds more natural, okay? So, for English speaking people, if you say, oh, to study English every day, it's okay. It's very formal. But the situation is this, that sometimes you're going to be talking with people in an informal way. Like, if you are with a friend, imagine that you're with a friend, and if you say, oh, to study English, Every day is a very good exercise. It will sound stuck up. Va a sonar como así, como nosotros decimos, como alguien muy creído que domina. But if Demasiado you say, formal. Oh, yes. Demasiado exactly. formal. It's too formal. Imagine that we are like here, we are like friends, like cool. We are having a cool conversation. Estamos teniendo una conversación tranquila. If I tell you, oh, to study English every day is a very good exercise. You will feel like, oh man, this is too formal. But if I tell you, hey, you know what, Francisco? Studying English every day is a very good exercise. It's informal. And as I tell you, it sounds more natural. Instead, if you, if you put a formal sentence in an informal conversation, it sounds forced. And that's something that you don't want. You don't want to sound forced. You want to sound natural all the time, right? Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. So I will recommend you that, and I know it's going to help you. That's why I wanted to, to tell you about that little, it's a little tip. Check it out. And if you have any question, mm -hmm. let me know before one class, and perhaps I will set 10 minutes for you, 10 extra minutes for you, okay? Okay, the chair. thank you. <clears throat> no, thanks to you for being here, Francisco. A pleasure, have a good night. Okay, teacher, you too. Have a good night. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, teachers. See you tomorrow.